heaven and the city! When, now? Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's Godan. Well, due to recent server maintenance issues and downtime, we all will receive a free gift. I haven't seen it yet, but it's coming, and we're going to need it for our upcoming event. But before we get to the event details, as the developers have their live stream, I want to make a plea, a pledge once again, for the DOTDatabase.net. Yuki's done a lot for the community, so it's that fiscal time. The fiscal year is starting again, and it's server fees time. So do what you can, pledge what you can, when you can, but give something. Well, now Yuki's not the only one who's contributed to the DOT community. We have a new web page, .calculators.com, under beta testing. Now there are multiple people who are contributing to this, and I thank them all. I just stumbled upon this uh, recently, and want to share this. John Wiki's been sharing it online, so if you're not online, here's your chance to see it. It says, Welcome to the unofficial website for the mobile game Dawn of Titans. Created by Natural Motion, Dawn of Titans begins a new era for action strategy with console quality graphics and ultra addictive gameplay. And we can all believe that. But this page is so cool. It's under the beta testing, but they'd like some feedback as to how things are working. If you do sign on and get started, you can look at a free to play guide. Titan ranking list, leaderboard event calculator, which many people will use, a conquest event calculator, damage calculator as well. Very cool website. I actually went through it and looked at it. There's a lot of information, a lot of good information, a lot of time was put into this. And the quality and the ease of use is awesome. This is definitely a resource that should be used and supported as well as the DOT uh, database.net. So when you have a chance, take a look and leave some feedback. Let them know what you think and how it can be improved. But let's take a look at the event that we have coming up. The Lions War, Blade and Bulwark, finally here. Developers live stream is all over, so now we know what we're getting, what we're up for. What we really want to know is this. What are our boost titans going to be? 1.3 with Artemis, Poseidon, Valorn, and Volstan. And 1.2 with a physical titan. Not bad. But will Minotaur's bounty work? We're trying to find out. Well now when we jump over to Steel Spine's blog spot to see the recap of the live stream today, we get all the information again broken down for us. All the event details are here. So let's take a quick look. Artemis, Poseidon, what they offer, what their skills are, and we have some new relics that we'll look at a little bit further. The Sunken Armor and Hunter's Bow, two brand new 4 stars. The Ranking Rewards, what do we get? It's a 19k event. The Choose a Titan comes at 11,000 for your Bulwark or Defensive Titan, either Valorn or Volstan, and at 16k, your Blade Titan token, so you can either choose Artemis or Poseidon. So the bulwark is not Poseidon, it's for Lauren or Volstan. Poseidon is better on offense, but still hard to beat for me on defense. And the stretch goals are, are two new relics, Sunken Armor and Hunter's Bow. So looking at the event breakdown for the leaderboard, first place gets Artemis, second and third get Artemis, fourth and fifth get Artemis, six through 10, 11 through 50. So Artemis is the main prize in this event. And look at this. 51 through 100 get to choose their attack titan. Not bad. But what we really want to know are the question and answers. Horde Summoner is coming. Earth Minotaur, most likely. More space for relics. Says we're going to be able to forge 12 relics at a time here real soon. Very awesome. That's pretty cool. That'll help a lot. Be sure to check out Steel Spine's blog spot to get all the information. We can't go over it all right now because time is limited. 
So we do get our free gift, which we've already seen. And the update will be coming out soon. It says new four-star economy relics are added to the battle drop pool. I'm not sure if I like that. New relic inventory filtering will happen. Natural lands will now be refreshed with gold rather than through the corn. Troop damage, which grants damage to all troops in your lo uh, loadout. It's calculated differently from individual elemental troop damage. Hmm. Well, they're making some changes. Lots of changes. Too much to read. But this is what's kicking. Two new five-star relics coming out in the next version. 1.34. Five-star Bow of the Gods and Trickster's Blade. Only used for rangers or infiltrators. How awesome. So the next version is coming out soon. Going to be fixing some bugs. Be sure to check it out. But let's take a look at these relics. The two five-star relics, Bow of the Gods and Trickster's Blade. They both look so awesome. Hunter's Bow and the Sunken Armor. Both are available in this event. But man, these two new five-stars. I still haven't got the last two new five-stars. But what it will do for our Titans, they may become OP. Don't forget, the Alliance event signups are happening. So if you haven't signed up, be sure to do so. Even though we have a Void Titan coming up, we don't know if it's a Summoning Titan or not. And we know eventually we're going to have a Summoning Void Titan. But this event is hard to pass up. Choose your Titan. You can get a great Defender and a great Attacker. This is not the event to skip. If you're free to play, choose wisely. You may not have this option again. So as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun, and take care. Hugely successful with a keen sense of style.